Good day, this is Bob Sullen, pastor of Hilltop Bible Church in Burton, Virginia, speaking to you a very important message for all to take heed to. The scripture reading is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27. Paul was dealing with the issue of the Lord's Supper, and he says in these words, Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Communion is a holy time together. The local church comes together from time to time to observe this ordinance. The wafer or bread and the juice or wine represent the body and blood of Jesus Christ. In observing this ordinance, we are memorizing the Lord's death on the cross for our sins. However, COVID has changed the way that a lot of churches do communion. There are a number of churches that uh, offer communion with a cup of juice and a seal on top in which you peel to get your wafer and then you peel another seal to drink the juice. All of which is uh, fine and good. It's all an attempt to prevent the spread of COVID through communion. However, the way some churches are observing this, and I've seen this recently in a church that I visited, is what I call communion on the run. And what has happened here, and it bothers me greatly to see this, what has happened here is the elements are not offered until after the service, and then you go by a table, pick up, pick the element up, leave the church, and partake of the uh, elements uh, afterwards. That, to me, is a violation of what, com of what communion is all about. Communion is to be observed together, is to be observed in the worship of the local church. It is not like picking up fast food at the drive-in of the fast food place. God's people need to be together and observe this holy ordinance together. Doing communion on the run, like I just stated, is in danger of observing this ordinance unworthily. Paul was addressing uh, issues in uh, the Corinthian church in which people observed the Lord's Supper in a rather irreverent manner, a flippant manner. We must never be that way when we observe this all-important ordinance. It is imperative to stop and do this thing right. A disease and an epidemic is no excuse to do otherwise. And that's my take on today. I just want to also take this time to invite those of you that live in Rockingham County, Virginia, Shenandoah County, Virginia, and Hardy County, West Virginia areas to visit our church, Hilltop Bower Church. We meet on 2 p.m. on Sunday afternoons. We are currently meeting in the Damascus Church of the Brethren, located on 21096 Clyders Road in Clyders. Please message us for directions to where we're meeting. Our current san our sanctuary is currently going undergoing renovation. And uh, when we uh, get that finished, we'll let you know about that. But we do invite you to come and visit and be with us. God bless you, is my prayer.